Java Oops Concepts Encapsulation In this video, we are going to discuss about the object-oriented programming concept in Java, that is, encapsulation. So, encapsulation is nothing but it refers to the wrapping up of data under a single unit. It refers to The wrapping up of data in single unit is known as encapsulation. It is the mechanism that binds codes and data it manipulates. Another way to think about encapsulation is it is a protective shield that prevents the data to be assessed by the code outside the particular shield. The best example for encapsulation can be a class. Yes, the best example can be a class. How? Because a class wraps up all the data members, functions, we can say methods in a particular unit and that unit is known as class so it is encapsulation only that it binds and actually hides from any other class so that it cannot be assessed through any other member function which is not related to its own class so class is the best example which we can give for the encapsulation as it wraps up all the data members in a single unit now encapsulation in java can be achieved by two ways the very first way is if we declare the members or the variables of a class as private. We have studied about the SS specifier and in that we studied about private also. So if we declare any particular variable of a class as private, so that cannot be assessed by any other class. So that is a very useful way to perform encapsulation in Java. Or we can do that providing the public setter and getter methods to modify and view the variable values. That is with using the set value and get value methods. With these two methods, we can help to modify and view the variable values by providing it public. That means, firstly, we have to declare the variables of the class as private and declaring these two methods, set value and get value as public in SS specified. Let's take an example of a program and that we will implement also to describe about encapsulation. So we say that firstly, we have created a class and the name of the class can be, uh, let's say, test. So this is the name of the class. Firstly, it has said that we have to declare the variable of the class as private. So, okay, I have declared, a, let's say, private and string name. This is my variable, the data type is string and I have declared it as private. And it has asked me for the set value and get value that is also known as the setter and the getter methods in Java. We have to declare them as public. So let us discuss that as public. I have declared it public and it is also string type only and we have used here get name this particular method we have used next when this particular method is called what will it do it will simply return you the name which is there this will return you the name okay next we have to set a particular name then only this get name method can be used so let us do that also so in public also as a specifier we have used the set name method also for setting the name that is string only in data type and we have used the this keyword for it for setting the name to the variable name name is the only variable which we have given and next we will create a main class that is having the void main method then we will create object of this particular class of this test class Let's say test x, we have the object created with the help of new keyword test. And as we do that, we have to firstly set the name. Let's say x is the variable which we have created. So x dot set name. And here in the parenthesis and double quotes, you can give the name. And with the help of SOP statement, using the s dot get name function, you can display the name also. 
a very simple program now how encapsulation is termed here it is termed like this this particular class test member which is private string name this member cannot be assessed outside this particular class it is encapsulated why because the data member or the variable is declared as private similarly encapsulation is java can be achieved by providing the public setter and getter methods to modify and view the variable value so that is also made public here so it is encapsulated this can be having ss only in this particular class so now let us execute this program and see how it works so here you can see that i have created a class name encp short form i've used for encapsulation you can name your class anything you want to and private i have set to the variable string name and public i have set to the get name and set name the get and set methods of java for getting the name which is going to return you the name and this is for taking inside the name the name which is going to be set and then given to the variable name that is to be done here in this public class student here you can see in the void main method firstly we have created an object of the class encapsulation or encp s is the object we have created firstly we have used the set name method for setting the name and giving the value passing the value to the name variable and the name i have given is aman singh and then with the help of system dot out print and statement what i have done is s dot get name i have called this particular method get name so that we can display a particular name so we have done nothing we have just created a class name student dot java and then we have just written the code with the help of getter and setter method and setting the variable values or the variable as private and as a specifier now as i run this particular class here you can see that we get the name of the student aman singh like this so this is the encapsulation by declaring the variables of a class as private and providing the getter and setter methods now there are several benefits of encapsulation also let us discuss about that so the benefits of encapsulation what are the several benefits which they are in encapsulation the very first benefit is data hiding now this term data hiding it is actually when a user will have no idea about the inner implementation of the class that how the class is exactly implemented that means he will be not aware about storing the values in the variables or he or she will only be aware that we are passing the values to the setter method and getting with the initialized get method we are just knowing the values the user or the programmer doesn't want to know about these two particular values what we have done here so it will only get the benefit of encapsulation that is data hiding he doesn't know the inner implementation of how the class is done the second benefit is increased flexibility now increase flexibility we can make the variables of the class as read only or write only depending on our own requirement in case if you wish to make the variable as read only then we have to omit the setter methods and if you wish to only write only methods then we have to omit the get or the getter methods from the program which we have just discussed the third use of encapsulation is of course reusability which is also the use of inheritance also we have discussed so reusability is also one of the benefits of encapsulation of data and how it is it improves the reusability and easy to change the new requirements new requirements can be easily changed so this is the brief we have discussed about encapsulation of the oops concept which are in java for more concepts we will look into upcoming videos